All right, they want us to solve the following system of equations. It's just the group of equations graphically. So we're just going to graph each one, and then we're going to circle the intersection point. So for 4x minus 1, that one's pretty easy. That has a y-intercept of negative 1, and it goes up by 1, 2, 3, 4 when it goes over 1. And you can actually do that multiple times. It goes up by 1, 2, 3, whoops, 4, and it goes over by 1. And what's the point of doing this? It helps you get more accurate. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, over by 1. And then you can also go down by 1, 2, 3, 4, and over by 1. All right, so we know that the line should go through all these points that we just got. OK, so we graphed that one. Now, what about for 2x plus y is equal to 5? Well, one nice way to do that is by setting x is equal to 0 first. If x was 0, then what is y? Well, y is 5. So when x is 0, y is 5. So I've got to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that gives me the point 0, 5. Well, what about if y was 0? If y was 0, then I need to go back to this. And I need to plug in 0 for y. And I have 2x plus 0 is equal to 5, which means 2x is equal to 5 which means x is equal to 5 over 2. In other words, 2.5. So let's go over 1, 2, and a half. OK, so that's 2.5 comma 0 right there. And then I can just connect those two points with a line. And I can easily see my intersection point is over by 1 and up by 1, 2, 3. So I'll put that at the intersection is 1, comma 3. Now the other way I could have graphed this bottom one was by solving it for y first. And if I subtracted 2x from both sides, I would get 5 minus 2x. And that means minus 2 is your slope, and 5 is your y-intercept. Well, let's check. Let's make sure that gives us the same thing. A y-intercept of 5, oh, yep, that's the same thing, 0, comma 5. And then a slope of negative 2 goes down by 1, 2 when it goes over to the right by 1. So that also would have worked.